Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stuart J. Pendis the third. So this is uh, this is post commentary on this round. This is the one that you guys requested. I was hoping to get this out by Saturday for you, but we ended up watching my uh, my wife's brother's kids, and so they've got five and we've got four. So we had nine kids here, and my brother and his wife and his daughter are staying with us for a few weeks, and so. We had like 14 people here, and so it was a little crazy, and there was no way I was going to get a good sound-controlled environment. I could have gone out to my car, but I mean, I just didn't have time like with that many kids to take care of. So anyway, regardless, excuses aside, here is the the video that I talked to you guys about before that I played with my clanmates. I played a few rounds in a row with them, um, and this is the one where we were able to dish out 1.4 million damage. So, I deal decent damage with the with the two dash bots that I have in, but actually most of the damage that I do is not with the dash bots. So, um, we'll, we'll talk about some of the stuff that we've been talking about recently. Like uh, the other day, I mentioned when we were running the Punisher Griffin, and you know people have been asking more about like how to run a Punisher Griffin in the comments and stuff like that. And we didn't really get to talk about it too much on the last Valley Map video. So I think today we'll talk about it in this video because it's, you know, pretty solid Punisher Griffin gameplay. See those guys, all five of them lined up over there trying to take the beacon. So that's why I dropped into this Ants a lot, which was uh, part of that subscriber request. This was, so playing with my, my clan mates here, this is like the first rounds that I had run the Ants lot in. Um, when that request got put in, I told you guys I'd run a few beforehand. So these are some of my practice rounds, and I just happened to uh, get invited by Kamikaze. So anyway, <laughs> so that's what's happening here. That's why I dropped into this guy, because these guys, we needed pressure on their flank. Because they were all facing the beacon, I needed them to turn away from the beacon so that my teammates could hold it better. So I'm staying up here on the hill, trying to maintain as much as I can um, this range here. So knowing that I was going to be able to take out the, um, the carnage pretty soon, I was stepping forward to see if... Uh, that griffin over there, the Terry guy. I was trying to see if I could get into range for him, but then the Regaka opportunity presented itself, and so I started firing upon him instead. But, yeah, e <laughs> easy to say, like, in post-commentary kind of thing, like, oh, yeah, this is what I was thinking when I did Amazingly. <laughs> uh, but, no, legitimately, that's that's what I was doing. That's why I was hanging back there. There's no reason to move forward, um, and I wanted their, uh, their direction to be focused over towards uh, towards this side of the map instead of towards the center beacon because if they you know they're able to fire towards the center beacon and hit multiple targets and things like that like that that makes it a lot easier for them to pressure it and so for me my my most of my direction was uh, misdirection for them so drawing their attention away there and we we're able to deal out serious damage I mean if you saw how many bots were able to pressure into right there with a full cl clip of Tehran's doing over 200,000 damage I mean, it's pretty easy to see where a lot of that damage, or a lot of the damage from this round came from, is from that Ancelot, um, and then also from this Punisher Griffin. So, um, I saw, so with all these comments, it, it's it's been cool. Like, there's been a lot of you guys participating in the comments. That's one of the coolest things I love about our little uh, stupendous family community we've got going on, is how much everyone participates with each other in the comments, answers each other's questions, which has been great lately, because... I haven't had enough time to answer questions. I've been reading almost every comment still, and I've just been responding to the ones um, that I read through that seem like they need to be responded to the most, or or maybe you know someone just subscribed or something like that. Like I, I said, I've been trying to answer like as many of those as I can, but it's been really really nice that a lot of you guys have been chipping in there. So Joe Hansen, he responded a couple of I guess it was like five days ago now. He responded to someone asking about how to run a Punisher Griffin, and so you see this example right here. I'm moving in instead of backing off. There's no way I was going to be able to get out of range of him before my clip expired. So, but I can out damage him if I'm really close to him. And so, what Joe said to this guy who was asking about how to run a Punisher Griffin, um, like at the end of his comment, he was like, "General Griffin rules apply. Like, you know, good Griffin gameplay." But with the Punishers, realize that it has two effective ranges. It's like, I think this is what he said. He said it's 350 plus or point blank range. And this is something that we've talked about before as well. But it was very, very well said by him. Maybe I'll see if I can like link his comment in the description. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so 350 plus, And the reason being is because 
of the high DPS of other weapons, especially when you're going up something against something like a death button. I mean, it puts out like 140,000 damage in like three seconds, and a, the Punishers can't compete with that. Even a, even at point blank range, they can't compete with it. So you need to chip away at them, and then maybe you can move in or just stay out of their range. Um, but you saw with that with that plasma griffin, I I had to move in instead of backing off because up close, I mean the Punishers do like face melting damage. I think since the last update, I, I I don't know if I've done the damage calculation, but I think maxed out. The Punishers do like 500,000 damage per clip. And I think they take like 13 or 14 seconds to unload right now. So you can do the math on that. But it's basically like having a, having a few thunders like on on your griffin. But the, the punishment you're able to lay out is, is pretty consistent. So I don't know. The Punisher griffin I love a lot. I use it at every level of play. I've got four accounts and I use the Punisher griffin on all of them. And it's often my very best bot. So right here, unfortunately, with the with the fast DPS of um, of Lorenzo there, I got taken out. So dropped into my Haichi and move in to take out this Ancelot, and then the plan is to drop down behind cover. So I've actually since taken my dashbots out um, since recording this video. So it's been it's been probably about five or six days since I since I took them out. I just don't want to run them because they're way too overpowered and I I just really disagree with the way that they released them and everything so I don't know it's it's not like a it's almost like a boycott of, of dash bots but I mean you know what what good is it doing so it's not really like a boycott I don't know I just uh, I don't know I, I think they really needed to nerf them a lot more prior to releasing them I think it was a really bad call uh, by the developers. I mean, obviously they were overpowered. It was obvious on the test servers that they were overpowered. Um, and so there, there was really no reason to do that except for, you know, maybe a, a quick cash grab, which, which, which really worries me. But I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully they correct it soon. Um, that'll be pretty telling. But anyway, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> so you saw with my Heichi before when that, when that Griffin jumped over the center beacon there. I zipped underneath him, behind him, um, because then his attention was distracted between myself and then the rhino across the way from me. Um, I can see the little blue arrow over there. And so knowing, just that, that's one of my biggest tips for people is making sure you split people's attention. And unfortunately we lost this game, but um, but yeah, the psychological warfare can be a really, really strong component of gameplay and make the game a lot more interesting. Um, so make sure you're paying attention for opportunities to do that, to split the player base's attention on the red team. It can really help you out a lot. So I think the biggest reason that we lost here was because one of my clan mates, uh, he had connection issues and he wasn't able to play at all. We put up a pretty dang good fight, especially against a, a clan there. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you have an amazing day.